So today we continue with tutorial 24. We want to now complete the edit model, right? So there are a number of things we need to do. First, you already know that when we click on the edit button, it displays the edit form. That is okay. Now, before it displays the edit form, we want it to fetch the data uh, to be used to populate this form. So the first thing we want to do is to add an anchor tag that is going to make a request to, to get one, to get a single record. And using that get one, we now uh, use this record to populate the form. So let's go write the anchor or the href of this button, of the edit button to do the, the, the to post to make a request to the get one first. When we click edit button, we want to do get one. So that is the get, and later we do a post a, a post to update. So here we are going to come to yeah here. Yeah. So this time again we are using time leave uh, expression. So time leave href equals I really need to be sure that it has to be time leave href that needs to be used. <coughs> yeah, time leave href. Okay. All right. So now we are going to do this. And um, again, we are doing, we are trying to get a link. So we are going to do this. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are making a request to slash uh, students slash gets one. Now we are now going to specify the ID, uh, the ID of the as a, uh, the ID as a parameter to to this URL. So I'm going to come here and say ID. Oh, what happened? ID equals again. This time I'm specifying this time a test. Uh, test. Open and close braces. Now it's putting a redundant brace here, which is not necessary. And now I'm going to say ID is equal to ID. Hmm, I think this is it. So let's just check to make sure we are in order. ID is equal to student.id. Okay, student.id because when it gets one, uh, because when you click and it has to pass the ID of the click item as a parameter, so it's going to be student ID student dot ID perfect. Okay, so now when we come to this place, before we display this model pop up, we need to do um, a get request to fetch this item. And then we display. I put the code in the clipboard, so I'll just paste it and explain it to you. Now, um, we, we first get the href with the attribute href, and then use this attribute to do a get dollar get. href, remember, is a is an endpoint that we are making a post to. So when you do a get. And you get the, uh, the student object, as you can see, it gets the student object. And now you are setting the values of each of the text boxes. Remember, we call this text boxes ID, edit, ID, name, edit, department, edit, and so on. Maybe we can just check to make sure we are in order. So I'm going to go to student.html. I'm going to go to the edit form. So you have updated by edit, ID, edit, name, edit, department, edit, and so on. So we are going to use the data that has been fetched from from the from from the server and use it to populate this test field when the data is clicked. After we populate the test fields, we now at that point we can now show the edit form. I think it's very clear. Yeah. So do a get request, get the student object, use that data, populate the test boxes. After you populate the test field, you now display the model. Let's try it out and see how it goes. Let's run this. So this is 
the only code we are not writing any more JavaScript code because I know many don't like writing codes, but it's really necessary for you to learn how to write some codes, not every code, but because you need to be a programmer, you need to know some coding. So if somebody tells you, you, you don't need to learn how to write code, the person is really deceiving you. As a programmer, you need to learn how to write codes. Uh, okay, so let's click on edits and it doesn't display anything. We just refresh this page again and click on edit and it doesn't display anything. I'm going to just check what is happening here. Click on edit, it doesn't display anything. So let's go back here. ID edit, name edit. Okay, so. So let's see. So what I'm going to do, we have this. Um, student. So let's get back to the student page. THHREF is equal to slash student slash get one. ID is equal to student dot ID is correct. So main js the click href is equal to this is attribute href get function student status id edit name edit hmm. okay so let's get back to this page mm, okay let's try to check something now take a look at the status bar at the lower left corner and let's see if it's going to show up the id so it's showing it, ID is equal to 1, I'll shift it down to 2, you can see that the lower left corner, I can't remove my mouse to show it, so you click on edit, now it doesn't populate, so let's, let's troubleshoot. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is edit model, uh, so we have name is equal to id edit oh no no we need to set the ids of these uh test fields so in addition to setting the names we need to set the ids of this test field because we are selecting the ids so i'm going to just say id id all right so let me just write it out id is equal to name edit ID equal ID equals name edit uh, this one as well ID equal to updated by edit uh, this one ID is equal to department edit and finally in this case ID is equal to updated, updated on edit. All right. So you actually need to set the IDs of these ones. For the edit, we are selecting it, so we need to set the ID. But for add, we may not. It's not necessary to do that. So at this point, I'm going to save and I'm going to restart this application, and hopefully, it is going to work. So while it's restarting, I'll just check what we need to do okay. so um, I hope we have done correctly okay perfect so let's go test it so I'm going to go to let's go here so I'm going to rephrase the page hmm it was unexpected in the class resource template student video oh, why Class path resource student.html. It says there's error in the page. What kind of error is that? So, TA action is fine. Hmm. So, does it mean that I don't need to specify that they give the same names or what? Edit model, okay. So, method is equal to put. Sometimes this may be the problem. It seems you are not able to specify a post method for a form, 
I don't know, but let's see. Let's see what happens. If not, the next... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I specify ID two times. Oh! So, you can see that these IDs are specified two times. So... Oh. So that's why debugging skills is really so important in programming. So, I'm going to just take out all of this. Okay, so that is why it is complaining. All right, so we have everything set up. Um, again, I'm going to change the form to put, the form action to put. All right, so there's yeah, a whole lot of stress here. As I told you, initially it was easy, now it becomes a bit challenging. You need good debugging skills. As I mentioned before, debugging skills is better or more important than programming skills. Because programming, you will know the syntax, and you'll be able to write it is very clear. Being able to track where the problem is coming from is a whole new thing altogether. So let's go to our page. I'm going to refresh this page, and it's going to display. I'm going to click on edit, and now it displays the items. The question now is whether it's going to save. So I'm going to change my name to Kainson, to Kainson the genius. Okay, I'm going to save, save. Oh, hmm. so this time we have IDs, the most unexpected error. IDs for this class must be manually assigned. ID for this class must be manually assigned. So I, I can tell you exactly where this problem is coming from. It's coming from the service. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. So controller. So controller expects to. So have the update. Okay. So. Okay. So. Um. Get, get back to the page again. So let's get back. If I click on it, ID assigned, save. Okay. Before calling save, ID must be manually assigned. Okay, no problem. Let's solve this. I actually leave the I actually will not cut out all these errors because I want you to know how to do debugging. So um, so let's see. So if I go back to the HTML page, let's ensure that the ID is assigned. So we have ID. Okay. Um, name is equal to ID ID. So his name is not going to be changed. The name has to be ID, not ID edit. So as I mentioned, name. Oh, oh, no. Names has to be exactly the same. So the ID is what you actually can change, not the names. So all this mix up, I, I'll explain it after now. So just restart the application now. So the names has to be exactly the same. What you need to change uh, will be the ID and not the names. So, both for the add model and the edit model, the names of the test field has to be exactly the same name that was specified in the model or in the model class. So, the, the IDs can change, but the names should not change. So, you can see the names did not change here, so the names should not change. So, at this point, we should have everything working. So, let's go back and let's refresh the page. And now let's go to edit. First, I'm going to just say save. And hopefully it's saved. Okay, now I'm going to save my name to Kyneson, the Kyneson, to Kyneson the Genius. Okay, so I'm going to save. So you can see it changed to Kyneson the Genius. Uh, maybe the, I'll change to Stack Pro. Or to my department, I'm going to change it to Programming. Programming. Okay, so save. So you can see save the change the department to programming. So this is how it works. The names of the test field must be exactly the name specified in the model class. 
I'm going to stop here and in the next lesson we now see how to write or how to work with the delete method. I'd like to thank you for viewing and we'll see you in the next lesson.